The year was 2013 when our guests today began their journey. They're one of the very few synthwave pop rock bands in the scene. Now, they've played small stages, big stages, they've played on podcasts, they've played on radio, they've played on TV. And today, they're playing here on Numinous TV, Beyond Live, Beyond Music.
Guys, welcome to Numinous TV. Thank Salamat you. sa pagpunta ninyo dito. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Now, for yes. our audience members who do not know you yet, please introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Tim. I play keyboards. I'm LJ. I play bass. Hi, my name is Jeff. Uh, I play the drums. And my name is Brian. Vocals, singer, songwriter, yeah. your resident lover. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down to it. You guys just released mixtape. Ah, yeah. pinaka bago ninyo. Tell us a little something about that. Yes, I released uh, mixtape consists of uh, six songs, three originals and three remixes of our previous singles. It's all done sa bahay namin with uh, so yung <coughs> process ng pagre-record ng album was in our place in our studio tapos vocals sa studio ni Joey Santos sa uh, Love One Another. So din yung vocalist ng ano, Halik ni Gringo, oh, ba? Favorite band. <laughs> so this is a quarantine album, kumbaga. Yes, so it's product of extensive quarantine. Yung napansin ko while doing my research, mm. marami kayong collabs with female vocalists. Yeah. Is this parang part of the theme of the band? Uh, yeah, kasi with our past, yung mga previous namin, siguro parang, pero we haven't really thought of the no no. Parang oh, no, lahat nga next, uh, Actually, magplano yes. namin naman gaya next. Uh, oh, de, yun, uh, yun yung next uh, question ko. Yeah, Sinong gusto nyong makasama? Gusto namin masubukan isang hip-hop artist. Gusto namin subukan kung paano magtutunog yung hip-hop with our sound. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, oh. sobrang, hindi pa namin alam, pero yun ang gusto namin. <laughs> Parang masaya siya. Iba siya eh, kasi you guys are synthwave, di ba? Synthwave yes. pop rock. Para sa mga millennials, kami mga tanders, alam namin yun eh. Yung synthwave, medyo 80s, di ba? Medyo, medyo old school yung dating. But how would you describe that to someone who's never heard the term synthwave? Here's, here's the thing with, with our music. It's either na parang yung mga bago na rinig, kung hindi sila familiar sa genre, feeling nila sobrang fresh. Hindi nila ma-describe, parang, shit, it takes me somewhere, it takes me to an era, or uh, they're basking in a neon glow that never existed. Parang mm. ganun yung feeling nila. Pero sa mga early, I think mga early millennials, I think we, we're almost the same age. Yes, so, uh, we're very uh, young. Ano na tayo. <laughs> so sa atin, kaya naging 80s, kasi yung, yung synthwave talaga is, soundtrack talaga siya ng mga sci-fi. Oh, mm -hmm. Yun yeah, talaga exactly. siya. Tapos nilagyan ng lyrics, tsaka ng melody, kaya pop wave yung nangyari ngayon. Mm -hmm. Pag describe namin siya is, synth sound of the 80s, I guess. Yung and then synth arrangement of the 80s. Tapos mm -hmm. na nauso din yan sa YouTube, di ba yung mga retro, oh. may parang comeback ng retro, retro style. Yes, so... Yeah. Uh, because of movies like Drive, for ah, example, di ba, they brought that back. Yung yung nag-start talaga ulit. Okay, so if people are not familiar, yun, Drive. parang kung gusto nyo ma-start sa synth wave, syempre, Bryson, tapos soundtracks like Drive, yeah. that will get you parang... Check out the movie well Drive, Ryan Gosling. Sobrang solid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the the elephant, well, the unicorn in the room. <laughs> What's with the unicorn? Kasi nung quarantine parang naging comfort ko siya. Katabi ko tulog din. No, so <laughs> nangongolekta ka. Marami ka. You have so ano kaya? You have unicorn pillow, you have punda ng punda ng bed sheet na unicorn din. Pati tato eh. Pati tato niya. Ako rin nanawa nga ako sa iyo. Oh, unicorn. That's a very very strange thing to be obsessed with right now. Pero nga nagigets ko naman yung in comfort na nadadala ng well, particular may pangalan siya. What do you call your unicorn? Thank you. Sino si Sangyup pala? Sino isa? Wag. Hindi niya masyado pinapansin. That's a quarantine relationship I can't understand. Single ka ba? Single ka? Okay. That makes sense now. Dadyo ako rin noong una, hindi ko maintindihan. It took me months to understand him, seryoso. Pinag one time nga, pinagbawal namin at least don't bring it sa gigs. Kasi parang confused yung mga tao. Oo, niyada talaga niya. Tapos parang, parang na-realize na yung parang kaligayaan niya. So sige, go for it. Well, it's definitely parang may identity ka as the unicorn guy, di ba? Yeah. Dapat, mag-anap ka na. Manila na sa holding area naman kaya. This is a relationship. <laughs> Pagdating sa music ninyo, a lot of people might even say na, yun nga, it's 80s love. Kasi yung sa 80s, diba nauso yung mga, mga rom-coms, mga uh, love stories uh, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. So, when it comes to your music, gano'n ka-successful kayo sa love? Ooh, Kasi kumbaga, uh, diba, parang, parang pastor kayo ng pagmamahal. So, are you all single, taken, married? married. Well, we already know. Uh, siya, actually, parang siya lang is. We're, we're all in a relationship. Okay, I have a daughter with, with a partner. Tapos oh, siya man. pamilyado na rin. Hmm. Kasi LG may girlfriend din. So siya talaga yun. <laughs> siya rin nagmumukod tangin. <laughs> <laughs> okay na talaga yun. Hindi ba na judging you bro? It's okay. 
how has your music parang affected your your relationship when it comes to love? It influences your your relationship with your significant other. Yeah, yeah. Pero meron din yung pagmamahal na towards the audience, mm. towards performing. Oh. Yeah. So how does your music parang Mas, resonate? For me, I think sa partner ko parang di naman sa walang ano pa kaya pero parang <laughs> gets mo sa sa una parang uy esti ganon pero hindi na siya masadong ganon ka enthusiastic when it comes to our music kasi magkasama na kami palagi pero she helps me with a lot of things like kasi I'm semi managing the band too as well so she helps me with that and then yung tao mas ano mas maganda yung reception sa amin ng ng strangers kung baga mm-hmm. kasi ganon naman lage yung mga di mo kailan ng tao yun talaga yung magigising sa yun at sinabi mo earlier kasi nanini bago din yung tao sa sa genre or sa style din kung baga parang love at first sight iba it's a very 80s romantic movie <laughs> kung baga do you incorporate the 80s look sa mismong performance Ah uh, yes, dati may ilik kami mag windbreaker jackets. Pero parang lately, <laughs> gusto na namin actually gusto na namin medyo lumayo sa era na 'yon. So we've been having troubles with comes to bookings. Ang dami nang nag-inquire sa amin tapos mm. feeling nila 80s kami. They think that we can cover 80s tracks, 80s music. Okay. Eh syempre minsan yung clarity, you have yeah, not naman you have to say the right words, but you have like to turn them down like we are not an 80s band. Ang dami mm. inquiries sa ganun eh. We started na parang, sige, play lo muna kami sa mga windbreaker jackets namin. Medyo yung mga new tracks sa ginagawa namin ngayon, ginagawa namin siya organic. So, babawas-bawasan na namin mga backing tracks, heavily backtrack yung music namin. So, babawasan na talaga yun. <laughs> Tapos puro mga organic na yung gagawin namin. Hopefully, well, may synth pa rin na ano. <laughs> and so now, para klaro na rin para sa ating mga viewers, we're gonna hear you guys hit the stage and yeah. we'll be right back with more questions, my secret questions with Bryson when we return.
We're back in the studio with Bryson. We just heard and saw a performance. And then now, it's my questions. <laughs> Balik na naman tayo sa 80s. Sa 80s na uso yung synth, pati hair metal. In fact, yung mga uh, nagpapading ng mga shoulders, uh, madaming big hair. Ano mga cosmetics ang ginagamit nyo hanggang ngayon? Like, what, ano yung mga favorite yung cosmetics? Kasi hindi na pag-uusapan nyo ng mga The Boys, eh. Oh. Ay, bro, pare, mahilig ako maglagay ng lotion, <laughs> di ba? Agree, agree. So, ngayon... Uh, consider cosmetic yun? Oo, oh, siyempre. Oh, Does it have to be in the 80s? Or? No, no, no. Okay. Just in general, okay. what 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 is your favorite cosmetic na baka hindi alam ng mga kabanda? Ako, panigaya cream. Bakit? Para saan? Skin care. Nalagay nyo lang sa balat niya. Ah, naging habit mo na eh. Oh. Dahil sa tato niya. Parang ginagunang ganun. <laughs> oh, kasi hindi. Never namin, never talaga hindi kita nung eh. Wala. Wala eh. Parang naging sinis kinol. Hindi, joke lang. Ako, toner talaga. Toner. Oh. Ako, wala ako nilalagay. Ako, I used to do 10-step Korean method. Ano yun? May toner, ma facial wash, tapos magto-toner, tapos mayroong serum, tapos mayroong ganyan. <laughs> Ten step, five, five steps sa umaga, tapos five steps sa gabi. Bago matulog. Bago matulog, okay. yes. So I used to do that. Ah, nakaka- ano yun? Una-una, magastos. Pangalawa, parang nakakatamad. Sayang mo sa pulo. Oh. Ano pag, pag lasing ka galing uh. gig, tapos biglang, di ba? <laughs> Mauubo siya kaagad kasi yung babae kasi nakakatawa. Somehow they know Paano magtipid ng cream? Oo, oh, parang ano. sabi ko pa yung nagagawa yun. Yung isang, oh. isang buwan na yung maliit na ganun. <laughs> tipid pa rin. Wala pa sa kalahate. Yun, dati I used to do tested cream. Ha, ikaw? Ha? Made before you. <laughs> wala, hindi. Uh, so, uh, mga, mga pang beard lang. Ah, uh, uh, Nagminox deal ka pa ba? Wala. Ano lang to? Quarantine beard lang to. Inayaan ko lang. Ano, eh, talaga natural. Natural na yun. Tagal na. Okay, so from from hygiene, punta naman tayo sa medyo madumi. <laughs> Isaw, crispy o medyo hilaw-hilaw siya at may laman-laman at medyo juicy sa loob? Ako, hindi naman ganun ka-crispy. Basta luto. Medyo may tayo sa loob. Isaw sa UP. Isaw sa UP. Isaw sa UP. Nandun ako sa medyo malambot tapos ma-feel-feel mo pa yung mga... Ano mo na? Yung kinain ng manok. Isaw mo nila yun. Pero gets mo gusto yung malambot. Isaw ba mo? Yung uh, goto. Ring. Oo, oh, goto. Tawag nila rin. Okay. Ito tayo. <laughs> okay. Sige, tama. Yun nga, kain tayo pagkatapos. Punta naman tayo sa relationships. Yan. Ito, maganda to. Napansin ko sa mga video na ginagamit niyo as background, mahilig kayo sa anime. Ah, ah siya actually. Uh-huh. More on him. Siya yung nag-request nun eh. Yung mga... Perfect. This question is for you. Porn or hentai? <gasps> hentai. Ay, grabe. <laughs> Oh, sobra. <laughs> oh, oh. Meron ng ganun. So alien. Hindi si Dotya, di ba? Init lang sa labas. Eh. Pero <laughs> ay, meron siya, alam mo yung ahigaw jacket na yung black and white mo. Oh, yung mga yung mga kaganon. Oh. Sinusot niya sa school gigs. So okay lang. I mean, for me, okay lang. Siguro yung mga prof, di alam mo yun. Kasi, oh, pero yung mga bata, nakakatawa. Uy, oh, nice jacket po, sir. Pa-picture ba ba tayo? <laughs> Kaya mo ba gawin yung face? Kasi pa- baka hindi alam ng ating mga studio audience members at yung Siga, ating... Sige, okay, gawin yan. Wala nang lawa. Lagi mo! Yun na yun. Lagi mo lawa. Lagi mo lawa. mo lawa. Bilis. Sige, Judge. May male to male ba na yun? Meron niya. Ano? Boys love. Boy love. Boys love. Boys love. Yawi ang tawag sa... Okay, I'm learning I'm learning here. Di ba ito sa hentai, di ba? Bawal may... Yuri may babae sa babae. May rules. May rules sa hentai. Di ba? Bawal pubic hair. Walang pubic hair sa hentai. Oo. Tapos iba yung censorship nila dun eh. Like parang strip lang. Ganon, or white blur. Ano ba na? Sige pa, sige pa. Kanina pa, actually. Na-exposed na. Ito na yung episode na yun eh. Na-exposed na ako. Nandito na tayo eh. Nasa hentai na tayo. Okay lang yan. Alam mo bro, dahil sa episode na to, mahanap mo yung dawan mo. Kasi mamaya may, ano mo yun, meron palang someone there na hiling sa hiling mo. Ay, mahiling pa siya sa hentai. Nananawagan po kami. Kung kayo po ay single, um, may hilig sa akin. Comments. Ay, Doon oh. kayo sa comment section. Sa Bumble. And we will hook you up. Bumble, Tinder. <laughs> 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 hindi, hentai, di kaya siya malaswa. Di siya, di ako nalalaswa sa hentai. No, because uh, oh. people can argue na parang hentai is a victimless crime. Di ba? Oh. Pwedeng kahit anong kalaswa na mangyari. Pero sa totoong... Ay, card card to lang siya. Oh. Oh. Japan, may ganun lang... Art, eh. Yeah, my culture sa so parang mga scrolls and yun yung version Basis. nila ng parang Playboy or Penthouse. Oh, oh. Parang Kamasutra. Kamasutra is yes. a legit book. Yeah. You know, it, it has the positions. Pero oh. 
Walang, ano ulit yung taste na yun? Ay, God! Ay, God! I-edit namin ulit yan. Pwede, pwede, pwede. Kamasutra. Nalabas yun, nalabas yun. Mga games. Kamasutra hentai edition. Meron din. Meron pa rin. Encyclopedia ka, bro. May iba yung passion niya sa hentai. Okay. So, to wrap things up, nasa last part na tayo. So, magpapaalam. But before that, you guys are into synth, okay? We'll end on a serious note, okay? Sa synth. Pagdating sa Bryson, sa mga nanonood at nakikinig, what's the first track that they should listen to? Your suggestion, na parang, di ko pa kayo kilala, ano yung kailangan ko pakinggan, na parang, hmm, gets ko yung Bryson. Sige, sa'yo, ano, para sa'yo. Bala mo na. Ikaw. Pero din sa akin, bali wala. Bali wala. Bali wala talaga. Marami nga may gusto lang. Yeah, bali wala. I mean, bali wala. Pati na pa tayo. So perfect. We are not in agreement. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being on the show. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you. And we'll have you back and hopefully even in the other programs of Numinous. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you Numinous. That's it. Thank you, John. Sumabay sa awit ng damdamin ito Ang sigaw ng pusong di na magpapagapos Ikaw ang kailangan paniwalaan mo Di na magpapago Di na magpapago Sabi mo, wag nang labanan ng mundo. Bumitaw na lang, iwan ang magulo. Kung sakal. Go on.
thank you for joining us on this magical 80s Unicorn Wonderland episode featuring Bryson. For more content, please like and subscribe Numinous TV. Tell your friends about it and let them know we are here. This is Numinous TV. Beyond live, beyond music.